Hi everyone, this is Ramesh Babu. I welcome you all uh, to my lecture on CCTV module 2, which is part of the safety and security systems of building management systems. So, as you can see in uh, the aspects of building management system, CCTV comes in access control and CCTV systems of uh, security aspects. In integrated building management system, the domain of uh, CCTV comes in building security. So within safety and security systems, in the previous lecture, we have completed access control systems. Now we are going to CCTV. So in this flow, you can see the security system comprises of access control systems. CCTV, intruder alarm, perimeter protection, and integrated software. The CCTV is what I am going to take now, and I will be taking in two lecture modules. CCTV. The main objective of CCTV, as you see, is to monitor and record the movement of people, vehicle, in the entry and exit of a building facility. So, as you can see, CCTV is not only to uh, regulate or monitor the people is also for the vehicle. So monitoring of the perimeter is generally done through a camera um, and this area of monitoring is defined by the client because the client will be the right person to tell where he wants the maximum security. If you look at the components of CCTV, you have a mount, power supply unit, video line driver, recorder, software, camera, lens, monitor, controller, and cable. So all these are components related to CCTV. I'll be explaining each one of them in detail. Coming to camera. If you see camera, there are wide range of cameras available for CCTV system. So out of which you see outdoor domes and you see indoor also. So in outdoor dome, you can see these kind of equipments which have been fixed under the surface of the wall or sometimes in the ceiling. You must have seen fixer dome also. And there are also devices which are called as dome PTEZ. PTEZ is nothing but pan, tilt and zoom. We do have PTEZ also. So though it may sound uh, confusing at this stage, once we go to each one of them, we will be able to identify the right type of devices which can be kept at the right place. First, we will talk about fixer dome. As the name states, the fixer dome is, has a fixed camera angle. That means, a camera is fixed in a particular position, viewing a particular area with an angle of view as per the focal length of the lens. Okay. Now, if you see the application, uh, it can be kept in the door entry or you must have seen this kind of fixer dome in the ATM machine. So, in ATM machines, you can see the camera is constantly or permanently looking into one particular uh, view only. So, the reason of a fixer dome is, for example, if the dome or if the camera is allowed to swing, there is a chance that there can be a security breach in that small time gap where the camera rotates and comes back to this original position. So typically these are installed in the entry and exit of a building facility. Now outdoor fixer camera. So as the name says outdoor, these cameras are especially done to withstand the weather conditions uh, like rain, humidity, or uh, air temperature and all. So, also these cameras are waterproof, so that water doesn't enter into the system and collapse. And they are also rigid. And of course, they will be expensive than the indoor cameras. So, very often you can see these cameras fixed on the perimeter wall or in the side of the building. So, this is a uh, small uh, image of your uh, outdoor camera. 
So here, whatever camera is inside, we can see the camera cover. Sometimes it is transparent, sometimes it is opaque. The reason is you may have your camera inside which will be in movement or which will be in a rotating position which will not be seen by the intruder. Now, next is the PT is a camera which is commonly called as the PT is that because it is called pan tilt and zoom. The, before I go to PT is that I will show uh, an image of PT is that this is how a PT is that will look like. So, as you can see here, this particular uh, part of the camera will totally rotate 24, 200, sorry, it will rotate 360 degrees. And in the top, you do see a uh, connection which can rotate uh, for 90 degrees, so which means this camera can tilt for 90 degrees and this one can rotate for 360 degrees. With this, this camera can cover half a hemisphere um, uh, of the uh, entire viewing area. That means literally this camera covers each and every part of the face around it. So there won't be any black spots in the camera. Now we go to this. So now I am explaining it can revolve horizontally around 360 degrees. So that is called as pan and it can be tilted vertically by 90 degrees that is called tilt. And the third one zoom is depending on the lens which is installed which can be made to zoom in or zoom out. Day and night switching can also be done here. It is most commonly used in perimeter and large area monitoring areas. Mounting of the camera can be done according to the application of the site requirements and PTZ can be controlled remotely from a computer. So sometimes you do have a wiper here so that if there is any cost or any uh, humidity in the screen that can be wiped up. So you do have PTZ zone, uh, sorry PTZ dome. PTZ dome is similar to PTZ camera. Only thing this entire thing comes with an enclosed dome. Something like this. So here you can see this camera can uh, tilt for 90 degree and at the same time it can rotate for 360 degrees. So the entire hemisphere can be covered, half of this can be covered. And in the previous example also I told uh, the camera comes in either transparent cover or a opaque cover. So this opaqueness will uh, prevent the intruder to um, make a judgment that the camera is looking towards him or not. So in other words, um, a typical example is um, the camera cannot be seen by the intruder at all. Mount. So this is the nothing but a device to mount the camera. So sometimes it is a fixed mount. So the mounting angle is same. More often in entry points. The next one is pan tilt mount where the mount can pan and tilt also. I will show this image. Here you see a fixed mount. So you just fix it like a tripod uh, where you fixing the camera to a tripod. Whereas here you see this is capable of rotating or uh, sorry revolving. It is capable of revolving and it is capable of tilting also. Coming to lens, there are fixed lens, manual varying focal lens and motorized varying focal lens. So, these are very common in nowadays camera. The manual varying focus lens, the camera has to be manually um, adjusted to find the view. In motorized thing, you can see the field of view and depth is variable by a motorized automatic mechanic. So that's a fixer lens. So you can't even zoom it up. Here you can manually vary the uh, zoom controls. Here this is motorized which, is, which can be done remote. You don't have to go manually and do the 
variation of the lens. Next is the power supply unit PSU. So as you know the cameras do need a standby backup because in case of uh, emergency when the power drops they have to work. So you need a power supply unit which is nothing but the same thing which we have in laptops or other electronic cameras nowadays so, which can retain the uh, battery for some time oh, sorry it can retain the power in the battery which is attached to the camera next one is monitor so there are wide variety of monitors available which is which is not used nowadays so for example if you see uh, you should know about uh, CRT, which is cathode ray tube monitor, and then you know LCD, liquid crystal display monitor. Then you have digital monitors like SVG, super video graphics, or even plasma. So these monitors are not existence, not in existence nowadays. Still, I would prefer you know all these monitors. This is a CRT monitor. This is a plasma. So SVG and the LCD monitor. So the purpose of this monitor is um, you can have to see the image which is being processed from the camera, uh, sorry, from the CCTV camera, which can be seen by the user. So you need a controller for that. You need a video switcher, multiplexer and all. We'll see what it is. Okay, so this is a typical CCTV system, station. Here you can see a lot of images. Like sometimes you can see the images getting changes for example this is camera 1 2 1 3 and next you see camera 4 5 and 6 for that you need a video switcher so where the camera images are switched to the monitor on a predetermined interval used in low security applications next is this multiplexer so with multiplexer you will be able to see lot of images in one screen like for example you see here you see 4 into 4, 16 images, 16 videos are being seen in one screen. For that, you need a multiplexer. The next thing is a digital video recorder, DVR. So, you need to record the information. And next is the matrix switcher. So, the digital video manager is used to control the multiple cameras by multiple people at the same time. Now, let me show the images of this. This is a video switcher, this is a multiplexer, this is a DVR, and these are matrix switchers. So, recorder. A recorder, as you can see, nowadays, uh, uh, sorry, in the previous days, uh, recording used to be done in uh, tape. So, then you need to have a tape uh, which has to be continuously recorded, and the tape has to be uh, replaced every now and then. So, but every month you need to have a large number of tapes stored in the archive. So slowly it got replaced with uh, CDs, compact discs. And uh, nowadays uh, the storage can be done in cloud also. So very, uh, the amount of storage is, doesn't matter in today's world. Video transmission. For video transmission you need analog video signal, digital video signals. Now this video transmission is one thing which can be um, transmitted uh, through wide area network uh, through a, a LAN which means you can remotely monitor the camera from your mobile or from your computer. Next is access control integration. So this is an important thing because you have CCTV and in the lecture module 1, I talked about uh, um, security uh, devices like access control system. This is about linking the access control with the video. This we will see in detail in the next class.